Here we have a Sun Super TAC 2, uh, 8,000 RPM blue line black face tachometer in a black case uh, with black trim ring, sort of a flat black. Also has a universal mount uh, 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 mount for the dash or the uh, steering column. So, and that adjusts and you pivot that on the back and such. We'll show that in a minute. Uh, our electronic items, we don't warranty our, any of our electronic item items or components for, uh, for anything, you know, functionality or accuracy, uh, simply because sometimes things get moved around in transit. We'll show you what it does here. Hopefully, hopefully we do the same thing when you receive it. Um, we do package our things securely and uh, we'll be covered for any cosmetic or physical damage that if, should that occur, which is a pretty rare occasion with, uh, with the way we pack stuff. Uh, it also has an adjustable red line needle there on the on the perimeter. And uh, with that said, we'll we'll show you the functionality of this unit first, and then the uh, cosmetics of it. I've currently got this hook hooked up to a snap-on uh, ignition simulator machine. It has a distributor and ignition system, complete ignition system with coil and uh, and uh, the whole bed on it. So I would just like you to be hooking up to a regular engine. And if you look at the tachometer here, you've got four wires coming out of it. You've got uh, one that feeds the light, one that feeds the ignition. Uh, the red one feeds the ignition, the blue one also feeds the light. And then the black one goes to the uh, ground, and the uh, green one goes to the coil, negative side of the coil, or goes to the, uh, uh, if you've got electronic ignition, to the little side that says, igni to, that says tachometer. Uh, and just hook that up to that. Most of the electronic systems will accept these these older units. I'm guessing this unit is probably out of the, uh, well, probably like uh, probably mid to late 80s. Um, could be a little bit newer than that. I'm not sure, uh, but it goes back their ways. Probably uh, probably around that era. Okay, we'll show you the functionality of the unit first, and uh, we simulate the RPM here. My machine goes up to uh, somewhere between five and six thousand RPM normally. This is a switchable unit, so you can use this on four, six, and eight cylinder. It's currently set up for eight cylinder. It's got the switch flipped over to that, and uh, I'll run the RPM up and down for you. First of all, I'll turn the machine on, and uh, RPM probably started up around a th around a thousand RPM. Needle jumps up there, and if you can see that, okay. I'll make sure you can see that, okay. Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna run the RPM up. It goes up nice and smooth to around 5,500 RPM, which seems pretty accurate for my machine and this pack on it. I'll drop the, drop the unit back down to uh, up and down, take it back down to about 1,000 to 1,000 RPM. Then I'll just simply start shutting my machine off and the needle rests. Uh, so that's the functionality of this unit. I will now unhook the wires. The light is working in this as well. I've got it hooked up right now, so that, I don't know if you can see in there or not, but uh, unhook the light. Light on, light off. Okay, and uh, take the wires off. Show you the unit here. It uh, the dial probably measures, I'm guessing, about three and a half inches, about three and three fourths inches across a, the diameter. And uh, and then on the, like I see here, you got a little dust on it here. I think this originally probably had a chrome bezel on it. I think maybe they painted it. I can see a little bit of indication of chrome under that, uh, under that so it'll probably come off if the guy wants to peel that off. And, and re restore the chrome. Uh, and then this simply unscrews in the back. This little nut, now well, simply unscrews, yeah. Somebody tighten on, on there a little bit. I'll get my handy dandy pliers out here and undo that a little bit. And you can see inside this unit, uh, there's a switch uh, right over on uh, this side. If you see right down inside there, you probably can't, but. Uh, there's a switch that switches that to four, six, or eight, eight cylinder, just simply with a screwdriver tip, and uh, and that's how you do that. And that is a wrap for that unit. Have fun bidding, and thanks for looking at mom and pop's items.